So a lot of YouTubers rely on software for quality video editing and photo editing for their thumbnails. And one of the main software that I know almost everyone know about is Photoshop. For persons who like to run their YouTube channel on a mobile device such as an iPad Pro, the Photoshop experience is not one with a lot of merit. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Affinity Photo and why I think Affinity Photo is better for iPad users compared to Photoshop. What's up, it's Ryan here back with another video and today I'm going to be giving you three reasons why I think Affinity Photo is better than Photoshop for iPad users. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and turn on notifications so you won't miss any video. So the first reason why I think Affinity Photo is better than Photoshop is the price. Affinity Photo has a one-time purchase price of $19.99 from the Apple Store and you will own the application for as long as you have the same Apple ID. So if you upgrade your device from year to year, you will still be able to download the application without paying any extra fees. I think that's great because nobody want to buy the same application multiple times. Photoshop on the other hand requires a monthly subscription to use the application. For Photoshop alone, it's $19.99 a month. But if you bundle Photoshop and Lightroom together, you only pay $9.99. It seems cheap, but if you add up the monthly subscription for each plan, you quickly see that you'll be paying $239 for the year if you choose Photoshop alone and $119 if you choose the bundle. I would much rather spend $19 once instead of $239 or $119 every year. I don't know about you guys, but I like saving my money. And a lot of people are going to say you get what you pay for, but in this case, that's not true. Because we are not talking about Photoshop on a computer, we are talking about Photoshop on an iPad, which is a completely different thing. And this brings me to my second reason for choosing and encouraging others to choose Affinity Photo over Photoshop, usability. Usability is definitely something to take into consideration when it comes to using any software. If the application is difficult to explore, then it won't be as intuitive as it should. In my opinion, Affinity Photo is much more fun to use compared to Photoshop, even as a beginner. Everything is easy to find as well as understand, and the simplicity of the editing tools will make sense to anyone. And for those who still need help, there's a help button that highlights all the tools with names. Since I have started editing my thumbnails in Affinity Photo, I haven't opened the Photoshop app. Well, except for when I was doing this video. The third reason why I think Affinity Photo is better than Photoshop is optimization. With the new iPadOS, there's a lot of features that can be refined with the use of the Apple Pencil. Smart Select has never been better. You are able to use the Apple Pencil to precisely select and deselect areas that you wish. Removing blemishes and imperfections from a photo is much easier. But quite frankly, Photoshop just doesn't do as good of a job as Affinity Photo. All the editing features that are available on the desktop version of Affinity Photo are available on the iPad version. However, Photoshop is missing quite a few key features that is needed for proper editing. As you can see, I'm able to edit the thumbnail for this video in Affinity Photo with no issues and have fun while doing it. Affinity Photo has more masking options than Photoshop and text manipulation is limitless. Picture in picture is much easier. You can remove any part of a photo and put several pictures together to make one masterpiece. Keep in mind, we're talking about doing this on an iPad, not on a desktop. I know a lot of people are going to say you can use Lightroom and Photoshop together, but why use two applications when you can only use one? In my opinion, Photoshop is a great photo editing software if you're using a desktop. Affinity Photo is also great if you're using a desktop, but for iPad users, Affinity Photo is much more optimized for iPad OS. Its interface is user friendly and for those who are on a budget, Affinity Photo is definitely cheaper. So guys, that's it for this video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one. Peace.